Hey, welcome back, Big Board Kev here. It's gonna be a long one. There's a lot in this. I don't know the East Front Lock and Load System, so I am just gonna take my time, have a look at this, work through it, see what's here. We'll see what happens. Let's turn the heater down because it's gorgeous outside. And let's just check it out. Back of the box first up, complexity mid, solitaire medium to high. One to two players, you can actually put more players on the map if you want, if you want to do it that way. But two players are ideal, one is fine, particularly now that they have a new solo system and solo AI that will be coming out for this game. Licensed from none other than you, Eckert, from Academy Games. So what is in Heroes of the Motherland? It is a complete module utilizing all the scenarios from the expansion module, not one step back, and containing all the necessary components from Band of Heroes, Swift and the Bold, as well as new maps that eliminate the need for overlays. Yeah. 14 maps. Thanks for playing. Alright, let's have a look at this bad boy. Uh, I am uh, pretty pretty pumped up. I gotta tell you, I have, uh, I have jumped on the World War II bandwagon just a little bit with the lock and load. I really was only ever interested in the modern tactical system just because I like the feel, the flavor of it. It may have been a little too deadly, but hey, I, uh, I dug it. What can I tell you? Now we have World War II in the East squad level. Premier supporter thing. Modules, module rules and scenarios. So you get the module rules. That's all the specifics and special rules that are going to be dealing with things like Molotov cocktails, commissars, the uniqueness of the Soviet forces and the different types of them, partisans and nurses and terrain markers and breakdowns and how they work, SS fanaticism, SS dedicated rules, nice big pictures, don't get freak and freaked out by it all and then then you are straight into it i have not played one of these scenarios i cannot recommend any of them to you yet i can recommend the artwork this is pretty freaking awesome dude mateys this is lovely look at that <clears throat> pavlov's house starlight like great very nice That's a big scenario. There's the maps on the back. You'll notice with all these scenarios, uh, it's going to give you the, the map layout here. Special rules for each scenario. The forces, order of battle. Really well done. Really well done. All right. I know you want to see more, but that's enough. Come on. Core rules. We just uh, saw this earlier on. Rule book, <clears throat> as I've said before, weighs in at a hefty 50-some pages. But look at the size of that font. I know a one-eyed blind man that could read this rule book. That's how big that font is and how clear the writing is. Heroes of the Motherland, Lock and Low Tactical System, the charts, DFT, direct fire table. Explanation of the, the combat results, the Malay table. One to one requires an eight. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Okay. And then we got uh, our terrain laid out here. Everything in alphabetical order, going from bridge to wheat. I like it. Got the little terrain counters here. Explanations and notes. Movement modifiers. Target modifiers. Obstacle heights. Map terrain types. You got it, whether it's to, uh, blocking or degrading. Uh, modifiers for DFT, modifiers for direct fire, modifiers for ordnance. Very nice. I've shown you these many, many times. This You can play the game off of this bad boy, and I've said it before, so I won't labor the point. Sequence of play over here. More summaries, how to do breakdowns and reductions. Fantastic. All the different tag types we've got here from... Uh, Martyrs through to pans of four H's, five G's, Stoke three G's. There's even a Tiger one in here. 
And then on the flip side, we've got SU-85, 76s, the KV-1, the big KV-1 there. Uh, there's a 152, a couple of different types of 34s, the 85mm 34 there. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Now, because, uh, because these guys print in-house, they can afford to provide you all sorts of summary rules, reference charts and tables. Very nice. Back, kind of a rules summary, rules reference card. I don't know if you can see all that. You see all that? And there's a little outline of what all the different components mean on a counter. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you want to get to the count. You want to get to the counters. I know, I know. The skill cards, two sides for those. Campaign card. Oh, I probably failed to mention. There's a campaign in here. That's brand new. That's a reason just there why you would want to buy this. Here's the motherland, turn record track, and now all the maps. I'm going to skip looking at the small maps because, you know, you've probably seen all these before. It's exactly the same scale as the older ones. So there they are over there. Let's get straight to the money. Summer. Maps. Map 19, map 20. Map 21, map 21, stop it. Map 21B. These are with the overlays. So here's an, here's an over, here's, this has an overlay on it. And this does not, or vice versa. I don't know. Map 40. And you'll notice some of these maps look familiar. They look like they're, they're from uh, Swift and the Bold or Bold and the Swift or whatever it may be. 45, let's see if we can spot the overlay here, that's 45B, and on the flip side, let's see, I, don't, I can't pay attention long enough to work out what uh, what's on this and what's not, what is on here, there's something supposed to be different, the hill, is it the hill, yeah it's the hill, so look, <laughs> there's a hill here, sorry guys I'm flipping that too fast for you probably, see, yeah, there's that field right there, all right, and then we've got uh, this guy is also going to have modified buildings on it. And more maps and cornfields. Now, this used to be a very Arnhem looking bridge, right? You've all probably recognized this from the World War II game. Well, now it's got that kind of Soviet era Ricky looking thing going on. And there's that overlay again. It pops up on map 49 as well. You can see the backside of 49 there. It's not there. Very, very cool. Okay. I'm going to put all those to one side. Let's have a look at the counters. Two dice in there as well. All right, first up, we've got the SS forces at the top. I, I'm, you know, I don't know how close we're going to just see these, but you can see the, uh, the layout is very, very nice. The thickness is nice. These are going to pop straight out, just like they always do. Got your leader counters here. Uh, full squad, reduced squad, ATGs, tanks. I'm going to have a close look at the tanks. Here you go. Come on, bro. Really nice looking stuff. Really, really well done. There's your Russians. Probably focusing would help. Soviet vehicles, there's T-34s. Info counters, of course, front and back. Partisans. Leaders, flames, got to have flames, right? A bunch of terrain counters in the uh, hero and uh, special abilities chits on the top. Terrain counters, barbed wire, rubble, things like that. Okay. Very nice. Really, really nice. Super duper nice. 
I like it. I like it like that. So there you have it. This is Heroes of the Motherland. And I don't know about you, but if I was thinking about getting involved in a tactical system and wanted to explore the East Front, you know, this thing with a campaign and a bunch of... Uh, oh, did we actually look at the campaign? Let's see if we can find the campaign in here. I don't know how many scenarios is in it. I do know what's in here somewhere. Here we go. There's the events table for it. I guess it's... Yeah, here we go. Campaign points are listed here. So we're going to look at these different scenarios and see the number of campaign points that are allocated to it. Probably four or five scenarios is my guess. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it right now because we're digging in on 11 minutes of video. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Here it is Heroes of the Motherland. Take it easy. Hope you enjoyed the shrink rip. Look forward to talking to you guys soon.